Several soccer communities in southeastern Wisconsin are mourning the loss of a talented player who many say was an even better man. Yeah, Kausu Sambo was shot and killed this week outside Madison. CBS 58's Adam Reif is in the newsroom tonight after talking to his college coach and former teammates. Adam? Well, Kausu Samba was described as a hard-nosed physical midfielder while on the pitch for UW Parkside, but those who knew him best said his inspirational story and his work ethic made more of a lasting impact off the field. We kind of called it the, the Kausu smile. Like every time you saw him, he had a huge smile on his face. Former teammates and coaches say they're in shock after learning of Kausu Samba's death. Samba was born in the Gambia in Western Africa. Friends at UW Parkside said he always made people feel welcome and part of the community. Well, on the field, he was a, he was a hard-nosed player. It was off the field, he was uh, very soft-spoken, uh, quiet sometimes. His disposition to just be there and help and, and, and make a difference regardless of him being uh, a star on the team or just another student athlete. Samba worked at a car dealership in Middleton. He died Monday after he was allegedly shot by 23-year-old Jakira Anderson, who was upset with a car she leased. Samba's pregnant wife spoke directly to Anderson at her initial court appearance Wednesday. He was the only one I had, and here I am right now. All I have... <laughs> It's my unborn child. Madison area representative Samba Balde is also Gambian and spoke highly of Kausu Samba. He was an excellent person. I know him. He was very active in the community. He was very well loved by his family members. Kausu was also a member of the Croatian Eagles Soccer Club in Franklin, driving in from Madison every weekend for games. Kausu's family will soon be arriving from Gambia. And while funeral plans are being finalized, those who knew him best are mourning their friend. I learned a lot more from him than he learned from me. He made a big impact while I was there, so I'm rest in peace, Samba. You will be missed. Now, alleged shooter Jakira Anderson is charged with first-degree intentional homicide by use of a dangerous weapon. She's being held in Dane County on a $1 million bond this Saturday. The Croatian Eagles plan to hold a memorial for Kausu. That's scheduled to start at 2 p.m. at their clubhouse in Franklin. Here in the newsroom, Adam Rive, CBS 58 News. Sounds like a pretty special.